Hello guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Today I have a first look at a, another shifter for you. And you may be very familiar with the style of this because I have reviewed a shifter that looks very similar to this. Um, in fact, you probably you know can't tell the difference unless you own, own the other shifter. You're gonna say, well, that looks like the other one you reviewed. But there is actually some notable differences. Um, this is a more expensive uh, shifter, but it's based on the same sort of platform. So I'll go through the upgrades because they are you know, they are tangible and they do make a difference. Um, but first I'll say uh, thank you to Banggood who sent me this to uh, check out. Um, so this is not my review guys, a review will come up in the near future and uh, just check the description. I'll put a link there when that review is live. But um, yeah, same size as the budget one, but I'm gonna go through the, um, you know, the features of what we get here guys. Um, it's aluminum body, um, obviously you're all in black. So it looks very nice, very stylish. Um, the difference between the budget one and this one is this does have a metal gear knob, the other one has a plastic one, and it also is height adjustable, and it's a really neat little uh, little sort of gizmo here. You can just uh, you screw it up, and then just a retaining um, collar there. You just screw it down, and uh, there you go. So you can just adjust the height. That's easy enough to, uh, you can go, let's see how far we can go. So, yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good height adjustment on there. Uh, so let's put it back down. And you get a really nice chunky metal gear knob. You see, it is, yeah, really solid. Uh, the next difference actually between this one and the cheaper one is we have a metal top plate here for the gates. So uh, the cheaper one is either plastic or one which is like cut from uh, like the same material as like a, um, a circuit board, like that sort of plastic composite glass fiber sort of thing. So pretty strong and it, it does a good job. I still, I'm still using it on the sim rig and it hasn't you know, failed yet. But this is metal, therefore it's certainly not gonna have a problem with that, which is good to see. You can see we have project uh, D, which is a, uh, laser cut into the top plate there. Uh, below there's also like, um, if I just show you this, you can see there's a there's the metal, you can see the thickness of it, and there's sort of like a, a plastic spacer underneath, sort of, so it's like two layers. Um, and one of the more important features actually, which is maybe the most important feature that's worth knowing, is it, this does not use micro switches, it uses hall sensors, so magnetic sensors instead of micro switches. The cheaper one has uh, micro switches, each gate has a micro switch, which you can, which you can actually clearly see, and the, the gear stick basically hits into the, you know, the micro switch and then activates it. So that's how that works. Um, this uses non contact magnetic sensors. So if you look at this shaft here, you can see that disc on there. That's the magnet, and along here, there's circuit boards with basically the magnetic sensors. So you go into gear, and it basically hits that switch, or you know, activates the switch by uh, that. So non-contact, which means it is going to be you know, basically 100% durable, uh, and uh, yeah, so no problems there. Where a micro switch potentially can fail, uh, not that the other shifter has failed in any way, but there is that potential. So certainly a more durable and something which you get in you know more high-end hardware these days using magnetic sensors to increase the durability to ensure the product does last. Um, next thing actually, the springs in here are different. So these are slightly lighter springs um, and it does give the shifter, I'd say a more realistic feel. And I actually really like the feel of it. It's still really nice and tactile, gets a nice snap to it. So very much you can see that. You can really feel it as you kind of smash with gears. Um, so it's a slightly lighter springs, which um, um, certainly I think compared to the cheaper one, which I think has a nice tactile feel, um, it is quite hard. They are quite hard springs. Um, and this just, I think, is just more refined, and I think they've done that for that reason. Um, so the springs that hold the gear stick in, in place, the sort of like pincer kind of uh, mechanism, those are lighter springs. And also the side to side movement, the spring in there that holds it down, which uh, centers it, is lighter as well. Um, the other one sort of really twangs when you do this sort of thing. It's, all like, it's, it's, it's quite a thing to see, but, um, and this is definitely better. It's certainly a better feeling shifter because of the springs in there. 
And um, yeah, I think uh, uh, actually one thing which is really worth knowing um, from the review, and um, it's got a lot of people bought the cheaper one based on my review, and they left uh, comments with feedback as you know as well. And also something you noticed in the review that it is quite loud. It is quite a loud shifter. This is a lot quieter. So they've managed to make it quieter. And so my my microphone's literally there. I'm just touching it here. So I'm right next to the microphone. I'm not sure if it comes, you know, how it comes across on a microphone, but it's not particularly loud. It's also a nice sound as well. The other one is a lot sharper, and um, well, obviously we need to get it mounted onto the sim rig to see if the sound sort of like goes through the sim rig and you know uh, sounds, you know, sounds louder and all that because it can do that. But um, this is definitely a more pleasant sounding, um, l less sharp sounding shifter. It's more of a sort of dull thud, and it's kind of nice. I like that. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the other thing which um, some people did com uh, have concerns about and also in comments even talked about, you know, packing it with some sort of insulation in there to try and dull the sort of the sharpness of the sound, which you don't need on this one because it's absolutely perfect. So yeah, I'm really happy with this so far, guys. Um, so I'm looking forward to um, getting this on the rig. In the review, we will basically compare some of the features and we'll, you know, have the cheaper one and this one side by side. Uh, just so you can see the differences as well. But um, I have to say, you know, my first impression is, um, although this is a more expensive version of that sort of platform, it definitely feels more premium and I would say it's worth it. So yeah, if you can spend a little bit more, I would say, yeah, maybe look at this one, guys. I think it's worth it. Um, you know, if you're on a you know, tighter budget, then yeah, check out the, you know, the cheaper version of it. I'm sure you'd be very happy with it. But I do like this, um, you know, having now, you know, having two of these now the more expensive one the cheaper one i can definitely appreciate the differences this makes um it's just a more fine version of that you know that type of shifter and it's a great shifter i love it as a shifter um you know anyway that budget one is is really really awesome and this just like you know perfects it really in my opinion uh, but you know wait for my review that will come as i said it'll come in due course and uh, I'll post a link in the description when that's done. So in the meantime though, you do feel free to ask any questions, drop comments below the video, etc. Uh, if you have this shifter, and of course, you know, drop your opinion as well, guys. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this mounted and reviewed. But uh, yeah, until next time, guys. Um, so I'm off now. Um, I'll see you soon. Uh, take care, happy swimming, and bye-bye.